Hello and welcome guys this is Rara Likes Games and today I have made this video explaining all of the abilities on war gloves. Now for those of you who don't know war gloves are the latest bruiser type weapons added in Albion Online with the Lands Awakening update. Now without any further delay let us begin with this video. Now unlike any other weapon type in Albion Online, War Gloves have 4 Q slot abilities. The first of which is called Create Opening. In this ability, you attack a targeted enemy dealing physical damage. While this ability does not have any cooldown, it can be recast within 1.25 seconds. If you recast this ability, it reduces the enemy's damage resistance for the next 3 seconds. This also increases the cooldown of the ability to 4 seconds. Now the second Q slot ability is called Dragon Leap. While using this ability, you leap toward a target direction, dealing damage to all the enemies around you. If you hit one of the enemies, you can recast this ability for the next 4 seconds. If recast, you will do an uppercut which will deal more physical damage and knock the enemies up in air for 0.5 seconds. Now your third Q slot ability is called Cross Tap. You dash behind an enemy target, increasing your attack speed and physical attack damage by 25%. Now this effect stacks up to 3 times and it lasts for about 6 seconds. This ability can be used with a Carleon cape so you can instantly get 2 stacks on your Q. The fourth and last Q slot ability is called Shockwave. You shoot a shockwave in a targeted direction. It passes through all of the enemies dealing physical damage. If you hit at least one enemy, you can activate this ability again within 2.5 seconds, dashing towards the first enemy that you hit. This ability is really good for chasing down enemies that are trying to run away from you. Moving on to the abilities on your W slot. The first one is called Triple Kick. You dash toward a targeted position, repeatedly kicking all enemies you pass through. This ability deals physical damage up to 3 times. It also pulls one enemy player along with you. This can be very useful for pulling someone into your team for an easy kill. Your second W slot ability is called Backhand Strike. You strike a targeted enemy knocking them back and dealing physical damage. If the target collides with the environment, they receive additional damage and their damage resistance is reduced for the next 5 seconds. This ability is really good for corrupted dungeons as you have a lot of tight corridors where you can knock the enemy into a wall. Your third W slot ability is called Counter. When activated, you enter a defensive stance, increasing your defenses by 75% while channeling for up to 1.2 seconds. This channel cannot be interrupted. While channeling, you also reflect 100% of the damage you take as magic damage. Upon taking any damage, you instantly leap towards the enemy that hit you, dealing massive physical damage in a 4 meter radius around you knocking all the enemies back by 3 meter. This ability is great for engaging on the enemy group and it can also be very useful for catching up to ranged enemies. Now the fourth and the last ability on your W slot is called Devastating Combo. This ability is very similar to the Black Hand E as in both cases you execute a 2 punch combo where the first strike stuns the enemy and the second one deals massive physical damage knocking them back. The only difference is that in devastating combo you do not purge the enemy. Now moving on towards the passive abilities on war gloves. The first passive is called aggressive burst. Every 8 normal attacks your damage increases by 20% for the next 2 seconds. From my testing I have found that the attack speed on war gloves is just not fast enough to make this passive viable for any use. The second passive is called rage. This passive activates every time you take damage when your health is below 40%. It increases your damage and cooldown modifier by 15% for the next 3 seconds. The third passive is called Rushdown. Every normal attack, your move speed is increased by 20% for the next 1 second. This can be really useful for sticking onto your target. Now the last passive ability is called hard to catch. This ability activates every time you use the ability on your second slot. 
which is your W ability. It increases your damage resistance and crowd control resistance for the next 3 seconds. Now that we are done with all of the common abilities on war gloves, let us move on to the E abilities on each of the 7 new war gloves added in the new patch. Now the first E ability is from Brawler Gloves called Blazing Geyser. You hit the ground releasing a geyser in a 4 meter radius in front of you. It deals magical damage to all the enemies and throws them in the air for a brief moment. Hitting at least one enemy resets the cooldown on your Q slot ability. The second E ability is from Battle Bracers called Falcon Smash. You float in the air becoming immune to all crowd control effects for up to 2 seconds. This ability can be reactivated to dash in a target direction for up to 12 meters and when you land you deal physical damage within a 5.5 meter radius to all the enemies. Now the damage is based on how far the enemy is from where you land. Now the third E is from Spiked Gauntlets and it is called Gravitational Collapse. You unleash a powerful punch in a cone in front of you dealing magic damage and slowing the enemy down. Now the damage and slow is based on the type of armor the enemy is wearing, dealing the maximum amount of damage and slow to plate armor and the least amount of damage and slow to cloth armor. Against mobs, this ability deals damage equal to the plate armor. The fourth E ability is from Ursine Maulers and it is called 100 Striking Fists. You release a flurry of fists in a cone in front of you channeling for up to 2.5 seconds, dealing physical damage every 0.5 seconds. Now this channel cannot be interrupted and the cone follows your cursor's position so you can change the direction of the cone. Now after 2 seconds, the last hit that hits the enemy deals an additional damage based on the number of hits they have received. This effect stacks up to 10 times. The fifth E ability is from Raven Strike Cestus and it is called Earth Crusher. When activated, you charge up the Earth Crusher, slowing yourself down by 50% while channeling for up to 2 seconds. This ability deals magic damage in a radius around you. Now the damage and radius depends on how long you have channeled. If you channel for the max duration, you knock up all of the enemies around you for 1 second. Now the sixth E ability is from Hellfire Hands and it is called Infernal Boulder. You throw a boulder towards the targeted area which bounces for up to 3 times. Each impact deals magic damage in a 4 meter radius and slows the enemy down by 25%. Now the last E ability is from Fists of Avalon and it is called Purifying Combination. It is a 3 part combo ability where the first attack is called a roundhouse kick. You deal damage in a small cone in front of you knocking back all of the enemy players. The second attack is called dive kick. You leap toward the target direction becoming immune to all of the ground control effects until impact. When you hit the ground you throw all the enemies in air for a brief movement and deal physical damage to them. The third attack is called purifying fist. You punch an area in front of you dealing massive physical damage. Now this is it. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please consider liking and subscribing and thanks for watching.